Welcome back to another Hack the Box quick guide. Now, port 80, we see running a web server, Drupal. Now, we'll run a dir search against this as well because GoBuster wasn't working for whatever reason. Now, after that, we're going to actually run Drupal to determine what version of Drupal is running on the box. We do see it's actually 7.54. We have a couple potential exploits here. Now, normally RCE catches my eye, but these were after the box was created. So the intended route is to use the 7.x uh, module services exploit up here, also in RCE. So we'll take that. It's a PHP script. Uh, we got to find an endpoint here. We'll find if we let this keep running, we'd see this rest endpoint slash rest. If we go here, we see this. So now we'll just modify this exploit script, right? So we'll put in the server that we're dealing with here. And the endpoint path is actually just slash rest as we found. And endpoint will leave as is. And we'll call this exploit exploit.php. So it will make that file on the system. And we'll have it do where we can run PHP code based off of a command parameter, query parameter here. So saving that, we run it and it will generate that file on the server. So if we go to exploit.py, run it with the CMD, who am I? We see we have an account here. Now we'll have it spawn a shell instead. This is a Windows box here, so we'll use a netcat64 exe and copy it to the current directory. We're gonna use uh, Impacket's SMB server to host this. So upon doing that, now when we run the command uh, to connect to our system's share, SMB's share. Uh, we can have it run cmd.exe and we'll use port 9001. Let's set up our listener though first. That's something I did forget to do. So as soon as we type this in here, we'll start a netcat listener to connect back to. So upon doing that, now we can actually run this exploit here. And we should see a connection back. We do. Who am I? We are iUser. So we still need to do some privask here. System info is where we'll start. We see this is server 2008 R2. Now, interestingly enough, no hot fixes, and it is 64 bit. So because of that, we know we can run MS15051. Now, we could run some additional enumeration if we didn't know that, but we'll save that onto the exploit onto our system, and we'll go ahead and unzip it. We'll, we'll move it over first and then unzip it. And we have the exploit right here. Now we're going to go ahead and start up another listener, port 9002 this time, to get that system shell. And basically from here, we'll move this into the same directory. It just makes it easier. So when we start our SMB server, we will be hosting everything that we need. So we'll do that. And then going back to our shell, we'll run this command to actually execute the exploit and connect back. And we are now root of the box.